What's up kings and queens? How you guys doing today? I know it's been a while since I posted to my channel. I want to apologize for that. It's just that lately I haven't been motivated to play any games. Um, mostly it's because my internet connection has been acting up and I really don't want to play Call of Duty on a shitty internet connection. It's really, really rage inducing. And another reason is just simply because I just have not been in the mood to play to get gameplays and play video games and stuff so um and another thing is because i was on vacation too i went to ohio and we went to go check out the theme park called cedar point and i had a lot of fun and i would recommend you guys go visit cedar point once in your life and i guarantee it'll be an experience that you will enjoy cedar point is arguably the best theme park in the united states but First and foremost, I want to thank a friend of mine on YouTube named Demerson for giving me this Battlefield 3 gameplay to commentate over. He's a really good commentator on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. You guys can check him out. He's a he's a pretty decent commentator. I, I, I feel that you would enjoy his content. So, um, yes, in this commentary, though, I wanted to talk about daring to be different, dare to be different, dare to stand out. And the reason why I wanted to come to do a commentary about this is because a lot of people, a lot of times I see people afraid to come out of the social norms or what's considered socially acceptable in the society because they don't want to get talked about. They don't want to be labeled as a nerd or lame or uncool. Everyone wants to fit in because no one wants to be the object of ridicule. And what I wanted to say was dare to be different, dare to stand out, dare to step out of that that social social norm or the social trap set by the media because it's really all the media. The media glamorizes things and the, the media sets the, the standards to what's supposed to be accepted in society and what's not supposed to be ex accepted. And it's all about having a mind of your own and being an individual within all of that. You don't want to be a, a, a slave to the media because that's what you are if you try to follow the in crowd and follow what's considered normal or socially acceptable. Because a lot of times people chase after the latest name brands or the the latest terms or the latest this and what's considered cool and what's considered uncool and stuff and they try to avoid what considers uncool because they don't want to get talked about or they don't want to look like they're a nobody and in reality the people who are individuals and the people who have a mind of their own the people who stand out from the crowd who do what they want to do who don't really care about what's cool and what's the latest this and what's the latest that those are the people who really have the advantage in life. Those are the people who really have the power. They might not recognize this though because probably throughout their life they've been talked about and their confidence have been brought down little by little just from being the object of ridicule all the time just because they're different. And a lot of them don't realize the amount of power that they have in society because they are different and because they have a mind of their own. But as soon as they realize the advantages that they have for being individuals, they, they will be able to gain the confidence needed. And that's one thing that people um, that's one thing people don't want to see. A person that, that's an individual and, and a confident individual, not a follower, always did what they wanted, a leader perhaps. And, you know, people, they don't like that. They don't understand that. So they talk about them. They point, they hate on them. They point the finger at, at them and they're the object of ridicule. But if you think about it, would you rather be a slave to the media or would you rather be an individual, a person who, who can, who has a mind of their own? Because let's say, okay, you're the type of person who like to keep up with the latest clothes and the latest shoes. So you go try to buy what's socially acceptable at the time, like maybe it might be true religion or maybe it may be a pair of Jordans or whatever it is in whatever culture or whatever, whatever is supposed to be considered socially acceptable. Just think about it though. Are you buying that because you like it or are you buying it because that's what everyone else is doing? What you need to do is sit back, do some self searching, find yourself and just think about it 
Do you really honestly like what you're wearing? Or do you really honestly like those pair of shoes that you have? Or are you really just doing it because everyone else is doing it? Once you sit down and self-search, you will find yourself, you will find what you really like, what things make you happy, your favorite things, and it'll be you. You will have a mind of your own. You will be an individual, and then you will have an advantage in social society. Yeah, you may not get accepted, but not being accepted sure beats the hell out of being a slave to the media, a follower, a person who just... It's like a, a zombie or a mind slave or something. You have to break free from that. You don't want to be a mind slave. Try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be different. Because you have the power when you're different. And yes, people will try to point you out and call you a lame or a nerd or this and that. In reality, those people calling you a lame and a nerd for being different, those people are really the lames and nerds because they are the same. They're not, they don't have their own mind. They're not an individual. And that's what you wanna aim for. You wanna aim for being an individual. Don't follow the in crowd because it's just all about being a slave. You will be a, a slave to the media. No one wants to be a slave. So don't limit your mind to what's cool and what's uncool. Find yourself, find what you like, find what you think is is cool what you accept in society i've always been the type of person that that was different or was considered out of touch with reality or whatever you want to call it because i've always done what i wanted to do i always did and bought what i felt and what i liked and i didn't buy it because it was cool i bought it because i wanted it and that's what you want to aim for do things because you want to not because that's what everyone else is doing and that's what's considered acceptable and you will you will notice that a lot of things will change in life you will be a lot happier and you will be you will feel a lot more freer because having that limited mindset of doing what everyone else is doing it's kind of like a trap you feel trapped you don't feel free but as soon as you break free from that you will feel free so all in all the whole point of this commentary is to get you to dare to be different stand out break free from the social norms the sooner you realize that having a mind of your own beats the hell out of being or being a, a slave to the media or following the in crowd you will be able to build your confidence those people throwing hate comments at you because you're different it won't affect you because in your mind you will know that you have the advantage because you are not a follower and that's what you want to aim for don't be a follower do what you want to do because you want to do it not because that's what the media claims to be acceptable and that's what's considered cool anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this commentary hope you learned something and i will post more commentary so st stay tuned okay bye